is uh, yeah, Monday morning of the uh, awesome communist holiday, Labor Day, and uh, I'm headed to work and uh, just thought we could chat for a few minutes. Uh, in answer to your, your first question, uh, uh, query number one, about the, uh, the rough idea of percentages of people that are on the fringe, and uh, gosh, you know, I don't have a good, uh, a good idea. I, I would say that of the 250 to 300 people that attended Anarchapoco, in 2017, uh, I would estimate, oh, there were probably 50 people there that were really, truly, you could sit down and have a conversation and say, wow, this person gets it. They are really, really there in a lot of different ways. The other, you know, 250 were, you know, partially there, uh, but not all the way intellectually. They still believe a lot of the big uh, I don't know, lies, propaganda, propaganda areas. Um, you know, I think if you took a poll about sustainability, you'd probably have 70 or 80% of the people there saying that, uh, you know, man has caused global warming and our earth is in a crisis and, and, you know, has very little time left and it's a good idea to ride bicycles and, and be in tiny houses. And um, they might not agree that the government should use force but they probably think the UN is, you know, that's kind of one of the good things they do is, is pushing for Agenda 21. Um, I, I, and I could be wrong. I, that's my rough estimate. Um, I'm guessing 70 or 80 percent of the people that attended um, smoke marijuana at least once a month uh, or once a week even. Uh, I don't know. And, of course, nothing wrong with that. I, I you know, it's... Uh, I'm not judging people. <laughs> well, I guess I am. I, I judge everything. Uh, I judge the quality of a steak that I eat, etc. 